Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Self Made Podcast. I'm your host, Chloe Tertia. And if you're watching this, you guys, look at it. I got a little microphone. Are you so proud of me? I'm leveling up. We're trying things differently. I don't know if it'll stick or not, but we're trying some new setup. We're doing a new setup and I'm going to see if I like it more or less. But anyway, um, besides that, welcome back to another episode. I'm so excited to sit and chat with you guys. I feel like every single week you guys blow me away by your response to every episode and it makes me so grateful and so happy. Like meeting you guys and hearing you guys be like, oh, I want, I listened to your episode. Like makes my heart explode. Makes me want to like burst out in tears or something. Good tears, happy tears. But it's just, I don't know. I feel like my podcast is just my way to like actually connect with my girls and guys, like my community on here. It's, I feel like, I feel like we're the closest because I literally share everything with you guys. I have pretty much no, um, no, I have a filter, but like I pre- I'm an open book. I tell you guys everything. And I just feel like, like I said in the last episode, if you listened with my brother, I was like, I feel like God puts me through a lot of these situations to like test me and teach me. And then I can like teach you guys through my experiences. And I feel like the best way to do that is chat about it on my podcast. So this week we're going to be talking about something that's been very relevant in my life. And it's been such a blessing and it's been such an amazing process and like journey. And that is making new friends. And if you didn't know a little like recap of my life, if you're new here, I recently moved well, it's not as recent now, but I was living in Iowa my entire life, born and raised. And then back in August, so about seven months ago, I moved to like the Phoenix, Arizona area with my little brother. We knew nobody here. I had no friends. Um, and traditionally, or not is traditionally like the right word. I'm, I'm a shy person. I'm an introvert at heart. I'm like an introverted extrovert. So at first I'm really quiet. I'm really shy. But then when I get to know you, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shut up. Like I literally can talk your ear off and I love to have like in-depth deep conversations clearly like I feel like my podcast is a good example of that but if I was sitting in a room with a bunch of people I'd probably be quiet and um I just find that interesting about myself but I have kind of learned to grow out of it a bit I feel like just the older I've gotten the more experiences I've gotten um I've grown out of it a bit but I'm still an introvert. So if you feel like you're introverted, you have a like hard time making friends, that's what this episode's about. I'm going to kind of explain to you guys my journey on it and give you guys my advice and some tips and stuff because regardless if you're like new to a city or you're going to college soon or you're just having troubles like fitting in with the friend group that you have and you feel like you're kind of in a position where you need to pivot and like you know, start making new friends or, um, you're moving to a new city and you don't know anyone. Like it's so scary. Community is so huge. Um, and I think for a while I didn't want to admit that to myself because I didn't want to have to go through the work of making friends. I always just hung out with the people that I always hung out with growing up in a small town. Everyone knows everyone. Um, I didn't really have like any, I, I don't know. I just like, it wasn't hard to make friends cause I made friends through like association, you know, sports teams or classes or, like a friend of a friend, you know, and it was just very natural. I never had to work at it. Like I've, I literally have had the same friends since like third grade, you know, like I never had to kind of seek out new friends other than being on a new sports team or something like that. Um, but I feel like as you grow up and you mature, your friend group definitely filters and changes a lot. Like I think that's a good thing. And not that there's any bad blood with any of my other friends. Like I love them. It's just like, you can grow apart from people and obviously everyone's life goes in different directions. I up and moved across the country. Like I, how can you be like besties with, I mean, you still can be like me and my best friend Taylor are still best friends and she lives back in Iowa, but like it's harder. Obviously you can't like have the same friendship across the country as you did in person. Like you have to go out and make new friends because you can't sit at home alone all the time. But I'm not going to lie, when I first moved here, I'm super independent, I'm super introverted, and I like my alone time. I really do. And so I would say the first like few months, I, I would say the first month, I didn't really do much because I was just settling in and I kind of used it as an, as an excuse. But again, it really wasn't an excuse because I didn't have much time to like go out and like make friends, but I wasn't ready either. I was in a position myself that I felt like I was ready to make friends. Um, but I was just trying to get into a groove, get into a routine. Again, I live with my brother, so he, we would go do everything together. I never felt lonely, but then obviously over time, once you start settling in, you have that desire to like have girl time and go do girl things. And, um, it was actually crazy. The first friend that I met, she's still one of my like closest friends here in Arizona. She's such a blessing. It was like God sent, I swear. Um, because it was like a Friday night and I remember I was home alone and it was the first like weekend. It was the first Friday night that I had been like, actually like felt like I wanted to go out and do something, but I had no one to like go out and do anything with. And I mean, I've been so fortunate and so blessed, um, to have like a platform on social media that I can reach a lot of you guys and so many 
Arizona girls reached out to me and gave me so many tips, recommendations, said like, let's meet up and get coffee. Like I've met so many people through that. Um, and I had that community in a sense on social media. Like there were a few girls I could have reached out to, but, um, at this point, it was funny because I had been in contact with a girl through DMs and I gave her my number, but we hadn't set anything up. Um, anyway, but that Friday night, I remember sitting upstairs watching a movie and I was like, this whole weekend, I just had no plans. So it was a Friday night. I'm like, I have nothing to do Saturday or Sunday. I was finally settled into the place. Like I had no travel plans, no nothing. Um, and I was kind of like, dang, okay, this is the time where I like, I need to step into that. I need to step into making friends. But again, it's scary. Like meeting up with a girlfriend or making a new girlfriend is just as scary as like going on a first date with a boy. I'm not kidding. Like at least it was for me. Like it's intimidating because it's like, are they going to like me? Are they not? Like, are we going to click? Are we not? What are we going to talk about? Um, there's just so much anxiety with it. And at this point in my life, I wasn't very strong in my faith. I feel like this was the beginning of my like real, like walk with Christ. Like I really dove into it since moving here. But again, I'll get to that. It kind of comes with the group that I surrounded myself with. And I'm so blessed for that. Um, but I just remember sitting there that Friday night and praying. And I was like, God, please like place someone in my life. Like, please like help me out of this lonely season. Um, because I have a very like good understanding of the difference between like solitude and loneliness. And there's a big difference. And solitude is like a very transformative period of your life. It can be so beneficial. I must stand for solitude, but loneliness is like when you begin to not benefit from like being alone, you know? Um, and I think it's, it's a really a mindset shift. And I think you have to take advantage of that alone time. Um, and I think I did, like I, I've, I've went through my season like heavily. Like I was like living alone for a while in Iowa, like years. I feel like I kind of went through that weird phase in my life. Even when I was living back in Iowa, um, I feel like the last like year before I moved was kind of the process of me like naturally like pivoting. And I was like kind of falling out of some friendships naturally. Like it was literally nothing against them. It's just, I was going one direction and it changes a lot when you're in your early twenties. And I feel like a lot of you will understand and relate to that. Like ever, some people go to certain schools and some people start working and some people travel. And like, it's just, everyone's like, no one's life is the same anymore. Like it was in high school and you all went to school from eight to three and then went to your after school things and all just had similar routines once you like graduate high school or you're in college or post-grad, like it changes because everyone's life is so different. And some people start to get into like serious relationships and some people, you know, get roommates and it's just, everyone's life is so, it just, it's hard to like find consistency and hanging out with friends. So you really have to be a lot more like, I don't know, uh, aware of that, I guess. And really like prioritize it but I just noticed that I didn't really feel like I aligned with a lot of the people any longer like I don't and it, I don't even want to say that though it was just like naturally I just was always busy and I was always working and I think that is a big part of it because I put a lot of pressure on myself right after college because I was full-time doing like content creation essentially and like some coaching that I felt like I needed to work 24 7 because I'm like I need to be making big girl money like I would if I was doing another job I'd be working like salary working a nine to five like I need to be working that if not more if I want to like make it and so I put so much pressure on myself to work all the time and I was and that's what I was telling my friends and I wasn't lying like I literally was working around the clock like every single day all day like as a content creator you can work on the weekends you do work on the weekends you work in the morning right when you get up you work until you go to sleep like it's just part of it um and so I became a workaholic and I definitely distanced myself but I think again everything happens for a reason and God intended that for me to happen because it opened my eyes to just kind of figuring my myself out like when you're away from like your normal you begin to like when you spend a lot of time alone you begin to kind of like understand yourself you know I feel like it's easy to not really know who you are and that's like a big question a friend just asked me he was like who who is Chloe Churchill and it was still hard for me to this day to like answer that question because I feel like I'm always discovering new things about myself but I don't know at this point I really feel like I didn't really know who I was and so I was spending all this time alone and I was really learning about myself and realizing like I don't want to go out and get drinks I don't want to like I was just a lot of the things that I associated myself with, I wasn't aligning with anymore. And I'm like, dang, like it was hard for me to find time to spend with my friends because when they were doing those things and it's totally fine, I just didn't have that desire to go do them. So I distanced myself. And then anyway, God's plan just like perfectly crafted and you know, I just kind of kept following it and it led me obviously to Arizona. So fast forward, that was like a whole debrief on my life. Um, but getting here in Arizona, 
I had like my one best friend back home in Iowa across the country um, and my little brother. And I was like, okay, I, I like, you have to make new friends or you're going to hate it here. Like you really have no other option. And God has just blessed me time and time again by putting the, like the perfect people into my life at the perfect time. And that is part of my testimony is just like the proof that he has put these people in my life. Like every single time I meet someone here, I'm just like in awe of like how amazing that person is and how, like how I needed them in that very moment. So Back to what I was saying that night when I was praying that Friday night to God and I was like, please, like, I need a girlfriend. Like, I need a friend. I kid you not, you guys. Like, this was, like, the first, like, whoa moment for me that, like, a prayer has been answered. Like, I woke up at 6 or 7 in the morning on a Saturday, which is not very common, let me tell you. Like, I don't know many people who do that. I just naturally wake up early. But I get a text from this girl that I hadn't really damned in a while. And she was like, hey, this is really random. I'm last minute going to go get my nails done. Do you want to meet up with me? And I was like something came over me and was like, Chloe, you need to go. I literally prayed about it last night. I'm like, this is God answering your prayer. But old Chloe and like inner, inner Chloe was like, no, like that's so scary. I don't want to go. Like I'm a big, I'm not going to lie. One of my flaws and I'm working on it and I'm a lot, I'm a lot better on it now. Like I really don't ever do this now, but previous I would commit to plans and then I would back out last second if I didn't want to go. Cause I'm not a person who, if I don't want to do it, I don't want to go. Like I don't want to put myself in a situation in an environment that I don't want to be. Um, and so oftentimes I would commit to plans with my friends. It was usually like a group setting. It was never like a one-on-one thing, but like I would bail cause I just didn't want to go. I'd rather just like sit at home and <laughs> like read my book and go to bed. But, um, something in me was like, well, you need to go. And I still don't really understand what it is. But again, it was that same feeling I had when I met my best friend Taylor back home in Iowa, similar situation. It was a really last minute situation. Um, and again, I'm, I, I get so scared making new friends, but something in me was like, you need to go. And I went, and now it's the Holy spirit. Now that I understand like that was God telling me to go, but like before I didn't have the relationship with God, I did. So I just, I don't know. I didn't understand why I went, but I went and now it just makes complete sense. But so if you guys ever have like an inner voice that's like, go, like listen to your intuition, listen to your gut, it's God talking to you and like trying to like guide you. But, and it's, it's literally worked out every single time for me. Not saying that it's going to be perfect every time and you're going to, you know, be besties with everyone you met. But like, I also believe that every person you come across is for a reason, you know, like it could be a lesson. It could like open your eyes to something. It could lead you to a new opportunity or an, another friend, like the connections and networking that's like available within that. Like every person has a purpose in your life. So trust in that as well. Um, but yeah, no, the next day, Saturday morning, we literally went and got our nails at like nine in the morning and we, we like hit it off. And she's actually the one who introduced me to the church that I go to here in Arizona, which is so crazy because that church that I go to is what transformed my walk with Christ. Like that is what built like a fire in me to be like, whoa, like it, I've never had been, excuse me, sorry, just like hiccup, burped, whatever. Um, but I'd never been to a non-denominational like Christian church in my entire life. Like I was born and raised Catholic. And if you've ever been to Catholic mass, like it's, it's not, it's traditional. It's, it's kind of boring. I'm not gonna, I'll be honest. It's boring. I never connected. I never really understood it. I never got into it. It was kind of a chore and I just went and I just didn't retain much ever. And so I really, I always had this desire to have like a connection with God, but like I never really had it. Like there was a phase in high school where I was like in a youth group and I went to this like youth Christian conference for Catholics and that transformed my life. That was really cool. But again, like I didn't have the consistency with it. Like I went to that weekend away and I was like on fire for Jesus. But then after that, going to mass on Sundays, like it didn't keep it alive for me, um, unfortunately. And I'm glad I found it again, but it was walking into this church and Again, I wouldn't have found this church if I didn't meet my friend. And me and her, like, are still best friends. So it's, like, amazing that I have a friend. But she also introduced me to my church, which, again, like, just lit up, like, the desire for God for me. And it did the exact same thing to my little brother. Like, I brought Jake with me, I think, the next weekend because he was out of town when I went. And I was like, no, you're going to love this pastor. Like, I promise you. Because he was very, like, previous to this. Like, I'm only going to Catholic Mass. Like, that's how we were raised but this like transformed it. And like both of us have never been so in our faith and like living a life for God. It's like the coolest thing ever. But, um, again, it's all about like taking risks and like putting yourself in uncomfortable situations. And that's just a part of like making friends and getting out of your hometown and getting out of like a comfortable situation. Like it's so easy, you guys to like, guys, sorry guys, we're back. I ran out of storage on my camera. <laughs> Why does that happen every episode? I don't know. But anyway, um, kind of back to what I was saying, I just want to get back on track. So I was kind of 
getting off track. I, I tend to do that. You know, my brain just kind of goes a million ways. I start talking because clearly I don't have an outline. When I podcast, it really just comes from the heart. <laughs> like I, I just kind of wing it in a good way, but that's just why that's, that's how I want to do it. Like I want it to just be authentic, raw in the moment. I feel like when it's too scripted, it's not actually like, I just don't like it. You know, I talked about that before, but anyway, um, the way I, I kind of want to like explain, I guess, how I started making friends because obviously these were all situations random, like people DM me on Instagram, but I think that's pretty common. Like, I think if you post on social media at all, have any sort of presence from one follower to a hundred thousand to a million, like you can reach people through social media. And I think finding people in communities, um, that you are interested in is huge. So like your gym, if you find your gym's Instagram, look through the following, see if there's girls who are tagging it. Me speaking to girls, but like if a guy, like look through the tags and see if there's anyone that you have seen there, they're familiar, you look like you could be friends, give them a follow and then just follow along and see if you like would connect, you know? And then shoot them a DM and be like, hey, let's get a workout in together or hey, let's grab a coffee. Anything like that. Um, One thing I realized and one of my friends was telling me about this, it's like you have to be aware of the environments and like the community you're surrounding yourself by because especially especially when you're moving to a new city I was telling one of my friends who's moving to a new city soon I'm like you are starting from scratch this is a fresh start and this is such a cool opportunity like not very often can you like reset all of your friends and like your entire environment and everything but if you do come upon this situation and this opportunity take full advantage um and really reflect and be like okay who do I want to become what type of people, um, are like my goal, you know, like think of like who you look up to and be like, what do they do? What environments are they in? And then start placing yourself in those environments, in those situations, um, and connect with people there because over time you will make friends. It may not be the first time. It's not going to be your first workout session. It's not going to be your first like youth group. It's not going to be your first young adults night, but like over time you will. And it takes some work and effort that like you have to be willing to put yourself out there. Um, and that's what I really wasn't doing at first because I'm, I'm scared to like DM and be like, Hey, like, let's meet up, whatever. Um, but fortunately a lot of people have messaged me. Um, and that's a lesson to myself though. Like I need to be better about reaching out to people as well and not just waiting for people to reach out to me. Um, but taking people up on their offer and like going out and trying and seeing if like you guys like hit it off. Like it's literally like dating when you're making friends and stuff, but I can't just like, I just can't emphasize enough, like how you kind of have to, you have to put yourself in the environment. If you sit at home and you just do your normal thing. You go to work, you come home, you go to the gym, you come home. And then on the weekends, you just chill. Like there, you're not going to meet new people. You have to like look for places and opportunities to meet people. And again, like think of your hobbies, think of what you enjoy doing or what you would like to get into and start taking classes. Like I was going to start Pilates just to meet girls through Pilates classes because workout classes are great, especially if you go to like the same time routinely, like you start to like familiar, familiarize yourself with those people. And that's how you make friends or start going to the same coffee shop every Monday, Wednesday, Friday or something, you know, um, and work if that's like, if you work from home, because I know that's also, that was something I was scared about moving is like, I don't have coworkers. Jake doesn't have coworkers or we work with people, but it's all virtual through across the country. Like we can't even meet people through that. So it was like, we had to really like reach and stretch. And, um, every person we met has like led us to another opportunity to like meet another person too like it's so cool like this isn't just me either like I am like speaking on Jake's behalf as well like he has made so many friends and it's all been through like he literally will walk into the gym and like actually introduce himself to somebody but or not introduce I don't even want to say that but just like compliment them at first and then it sparks a conversation and that's how you make a friend and then it's like hey let's get a lift together sometime and then after that they like if it goes well, then it's like, Hey, let's hang out. Like, let's do stuff. And Jake's made so many friends. So it's not even just like me because I have a social media presence. It's anyone can do it. You just have to be willing to do it. Like walk into the gym. We talked about this on our last episode for dating, but it's literally the same as making friends. Like you have to be like open. Like it is the way you present yourself as well. Like you have to look approachable or no one's going to come up to you. If you have your head down, your hood up and you're on your phone, you know, like if you look like you can't be approached. No one's going to approach you. And that was something that I did. And I still kind of do at the gym because I get scared. I'm not going to lie. Like I don't like when people look at me at the gym, so I get overwhelmed. So I do kind of hide, but again, it's okay. Cause I do have some friends there and whatever, but, um, like you have to make yourself approachable in like in the real world, you know? Um, but again, like look into different places where you are wanting like to be like for me, Oh my gosh, why am I so... Okay, I'm burpy because I've been drinking the Celsius, actually. <laughs> um, 
but like I went to that church with my friend and went with Jake and I was like wow I really am enjoying this it makes me feel so good making me a better person and then um I don't even know how we came about about our young adults oh Jake had a friend from back home who invited him to this like young adults night at a different it's a completely different church but every church has like a young adults night and I cannot recommend it more I you guys making Christian friends is the best thing I ever did and that is not the theme of this podcast because I'm not going to push Christianity on you I'm not going to push religion on you I do recommend it but like I understand that it not everyone like it's a personal choice but like I am very blessed that I have like discovered how (laughs) freaking amazing having Christian like every single one of my friends here is Christian and that wasn't even intentional like I've met probably like five to ten people just like getting coffee or meeting up for brunch or lunch or dinner or something with like people who message me on social media and stuff and I I guess my faith is such a huge part of my life now it's like hard to not talk about it like on this podcast I feel like it's been brought up so much more recently because I'm just growing in it so much more that it's such a huge part of my life like how do I not talk about it because it just affects every aspect of my life and this podcast is my life but like I'll be sitting and chatting with these girls and it just naturally comes up and then I find out oh they're Christian and then I bring them to my church and then we go to like a woman's night together or like it is so crazy how God has worked and placed these people in my life like especially in the past like month that's where like this has really opened my eyes because I feel like now that I'm fully living here too like I moved after Christmas I moved fully from Iowa to Arizona full-time because I was going back and forth for a couple months because I thought I was going to do that and decided not to um but I feel like I've realized too I'm like okay I'm here full-time I really got to make friends um but it is so crazy how amazing Christian people are when you're trying to make new friends like they're the most loving just great people and for me I live my life as a Christian I don't really drink I don't like party you know I don't really go out and do those things I um enjoy going to church I enjoy having those conversations about my faith and there's just a lot of similarities within our lifestyles. So like, obviously you want to be friends with people who have similar lifestyles as you. Um, and so it's really opened like a whole new world of people. And it's been so freaking amazing. Like it, they make me better. Like you are who you surround yourself by. You're a compilation of the pe- five people you spend the most time with. And that could not be more true. Like people I think are shocked at how quickly I'm like falling into my faith, but it's because I only surround myself by Christian. So like imagine only surrounding yourself by painters like I'm you're probably gonna start painting that was a really weird example but like you know what I'm saying like that's all I'm around so that's like that's who I'm becoming and I love it so make sure who you surround yourself with is who you want to become because if there's one bad egg like it could really like offset you and like again I tell I'm telling you like one person leads to another opportunity leads to another thing so if you're associating yourself with one bad person the odds of them leading you to another bad opportunity or bad like any bad path like it's so easy to go down that and so when you're making new friends, it's so important to really like be conscious of that and be aware of who you're surrounding yourself with. Um, and again, it's like, you have to place yourself in the right environments. It's all about that. But, um, you just, you gotta be okay with being uncomfortable though, too, because like I was saying that young adults night, that's really what's like open. I feel like the most friendships for Jake and I, because it's literally 18 to 30 year olds and there's hundreds of people there. Um, and you meet one person, they introduce you to all of their friends and then you click with some of those people and then you become friends with them. It's exponential, you know, it just grows. And it's been so freaking amazing because it's never been easier for me to make friends. And I've never like enjoyed friendships more and like truly like felt at peace and like felt like it's just a genuine real like I want to spend time with them I want to like become more like them like they inspire me um and it's just it's something I've never like it's it's so like beautiful and it's so god sent that it makes me so happy um but like again Jake and I like if we would have let fear get into our head we would have never went to this like young adult tonight because it's so scary it is so scary not being like if you're a new Christian if you're just kind of getting into your faith like it's intimidating walking into a room full of a ton of Christians who were just like on fire for God. And like, they are like, and there isn't levels. There is not levels to like your faith, but at the beginning, I'm not, I'll be honest. Like, that's kind of what it feels like. And you kind of feel like a beginner and it's weird because even the way people speak and it's like, I don't speak like that, but you, you have a desire to be like that the more you grow into it. And it's really cool, but it's intimidating. It's like, do I, you kind of feel like you don't fit in, but the thing is you do, you just have to put yourself in that environment and it takes time. It takes patience. Like I, talked about it on one episode Jake and I were saying like we were so scared to go in there and we knew like our anxiety was from the enemy and we have to face that and that's a huge thing I've learned too is like learning how to deal with my anxiety and my social anxiety like 
the anxiety that I felt in the past month more than ever, but I've been able to process it healthier and better because of my faith. Like I, I honestly I can talk myself out of it now, but before it would have stopped me because I've met so many people and been to so many things that would literally make me want to, I just wouldn't go. Old Chloe just would not have went. Like I'll literally give you guys examples because this is so out of my character. But like I, and this is literally within the last, less than the last month, like probably three weeks. I, um, met a friend and he took me to like a dinner party. Like a, it was a, all of his friends were like making steak dinners at a person's apartment. Do you know how much anxiety that caused me? I did not want to go. I literally told him, I was like, I'm not going to go like that will send me into a spiral. Absolutely not. But I had to like convince myself and I knew this was like, I feel like the bridge for me that was like, okay, Chloe, you need to start making friends. Like this is your opportunity. It's going to be hard, but it gets easier. And since I did this, it's been easier and easier and easier every single time to put myself in a new environment to make new friends. So you've got to just start like the first steps, the hardest. And then after that, it gets, it, I, I promise you guys, it gets easier. Um, but I literally was like, my anxiety was so bad. You guys, I was so nervous. Cause I'm like, all of them are already friends. They're all with like their significant others. I'm just like literally with my guy friend, like and like I'm like oh god like this is me weird like I don't know these people like I have to start a conversation like what if they don't like me like all the things that go through your head and again for me when I'm nervous I can talk I can talk a lot but again it's like sometimes I'm like can I like what if I can't what if I have nothing to say and sometimes I'll be having a conversation and you know when you're like you just could draw a blank and because you're nervous and you don't know what to say I was like what if that happens like what if it's weird I was so stressed out but again it's like all those anxieties and all those negative thoughts god isn't sending that to you that's from the enemy like god is gonna i i told myself and i always remind myself of this i'm like god isn't gonna put you in any situation you can't get you through so i'm like okay god get me through this help me through this um but it was amazing and the people there are the most sweet genuine human beings ever and i love them and i adore them and i see them weekly now and it's amazing and i have like new friendships um because of that but then doing that led me to being more confident like going to the young adults night and like meeting more people when I'm there and then um I got invited to like a bible study with some girls that I met at the church and again I wasn't even at this point guys I wasn't even nervous to go like I knew the two girls not super well I'm like getting to know them better I'm pretty sure they listen to that podcast so hi girls I love you um but like old Chloe would have been so scared I mean I was scared to walk into the bible study like I texted them and I was like hey let me know when you're here so I can walk in with you because there's like 15 other girls in this house and I don't know any of them but that literally a month ago two months ago would have been like I, I I simply would not have went because the two people I went with I I didn't know super well yet either so it's not like I have a bestie to go with um but it's just I'm more comfortable with it and then literally the day before or a couple days before um one of my friends that I met here, she was having a pop-up. One of her friends has a boutique and she was having like a pop-up event. She invited me and I went and it was with all, like I had to go at the end cause I was late cause I was at church. Okay. And I show up and it's all of their like hometown friends or not hometown friends, but her best friend used to live here. So they had like their group of friends and they were all kind of like reunited and I'm hanging out with a group of friends. Like it's so scary being like the new person in a group of friends who have already been friends for years, you know? But again, I'm like, because I've been doing all these things over and over and over, like, it's not scary. Like, I totally had so much fun and I feel like it went well. I don't know if they like loved me or not. I don't, I hope they did, but like, <laughs> it didn't feel like it didn't. They didn't. They invited me to like stay with them and hang out, but I had to like actually film the podcast last week's podcast that day. It was on a Sunday, but, um, they invited me that and then they invited me to, like the waste management and golf event and stuff. And like, so it's just like when you meet people, you put yourself in positions, then it opens the doors for new opportunities and like ability to make new friends, make new memories. Like you have to put yourself in those environments to open new doors. Like you can't expect things to just happen if you're not being proactive about it, you know? Um, and I've just really realized the importance of community because before I just kind of convinced myself that it wasn't that important because I was scared. I was scared to build a new community. I was scared to put myself in new environments, but you cannot let fear stop you. Like you have to just do it. Like simply like have a conversation with yourself and I'm, I'm serious. Like it's, it gets easier. It really, really does. And it, the first time it's terrifying, like pray about it, like genuinely just pray and like know that God will get you through it. But then again, it's like, use it as a learning process. Like if it goes bad, learn from it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's only like an hour or two if it's, you're grabbing dinner or coffee, but most of the time people are really nice. Like everyone's really nice. Like I've never had a bad interaction. And, um, again though, it's because I put myself in positive situations. I surround myself by people that I know I'll connect with, like people who have similar interests as me and commonalities. Um, and that's where real friendships stem from. But seriously, like it all starts with 
just you got to kind of seek it out and then you got to like take advantage of it you know um so like I said like find your gym's Instagram and like find girls or friends or guys or whoever through that or start going to like a group fitness class or start going to coffee shops start like regularly going places um literally though like if you are Christian go to a young adults night like go to one it is the coolest thing ever and like there's so many people there and there's so many people that I'm like now for like the youth group there's like 15 girls I'm like those are 15 new possible friends you know like that's a lot of people like I've never had that many friends in my life um but then again like when people message you and like you were like, oh yeah, let's get together. Like start doing it, like start going and making friends because it's so cool. The connections you make, the memories you'll make, the conversations you'll have. Like Ed Millett always says you're one conversation away from like a completely new life. And I've like learned that, like I've met one new person and it's completely changed my life. And so you got to take advantage of that. Like you can't do everything on your own. Like you probably think you can. That's what I thought. I could handle everything on my own, but everything I've learned that's like honestly propelled me and benefited me in life like career-wise personally spiritually it's been through other people like I was on a friend's podcast and he was like asking me what did he ask like kind of how like I've grown or something and I'm like I credited everyone in my life and then that was really me being like wow the people in my life are so powerful and they make such a difference and like I would not be where I am without them like I think I'm so like (laughs) self-made the name of the podcast but I'm like no I'm like God made him community made. Like I would not be here without any of you guys listening or watching. Like it is all about your community. And I think that's why it's so important to like have that, like don't do things alone. It's so easy to be an introvert and hide away in a shell and just be comfortable. But like, there's so much beauty in friendships and meeting people and just enjoying life. So honestly, I feel like that is all I have to say. That was a lot. I don't know how we feel about that. (laughs) <laughs> but that's just been on my heart like that has been like so just kind of the theme of my life the past like three weeks like I have literally never been more busy and usually I I don't know like I haven't been busy like this in a while and I miss it like I kind of miss it. like it's kind of like you're on a high all the time because you're constantly like, go 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 but it makes me more inspired it makes me more productive it makes me more excited to like work and stuff and I don't know like I've just genuinely never been happier and it's because I have so many amazing like people in my life and So like I said, if you're moving to a new city, if you are going to a new school, if you aren't, but like you want new friends, like start seeking them out. Like you can create new friend groups. You can create new people. Even if you live in the same town you've always lived in, like there are new people out there to be made. Um, You just got to put yourself in new environments to make those people, meet those people. Um, But yeah. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um... And yeah, hopefully these mics sound well and the video is better. I don't know. We, we tried new mics, new camera, everything's new. Um, but yeah, okay. We will chat later. We will chat next week. I love you. Bye, guys.